So welcome back. Last time we created a base server in which we looked for a couple of things. So we had our initialize, uh, shutdown and update. We clean up the connection in the update, accept new connection, update bump, all of that. So we've did that all last episode. And today we're going to be looking at doing the base server, which is very, very similar. So we're going to start by creating ourselves a base client. Okay. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, the reason we're doing a base is because we'd like to inherit from it at one point and create different type of client or different type of server in this case. So what I'll be doing right here is I'll just grab everything that I have in the base server and I'll copy it over to the base client. So now I have two base server. Um, I'll make sure to modify at the top here what I need. So base client. And now we'll go down and look at everything that is different from the client to the server. And we're going to start right here at the top. So driver, that's good. Okay, so we still need a driver. We we'll still need to have something that reads, um, that writes, and that also pops for new connection. Now down here, we have a protected list of native connection. Here, that's no longer the case. So instead of having a list, you just have a single network connection, like so. Then right after that, we still have the initialize, the update server and the shutdown being called and the unity callback respectively. So start, update and on destroy. We're going to keep that. And then let's have a look at the initialize here. A couple of things are going to change. Now here, instead of connecting pretty much anywhere, we have to connect to a specific IP. Here you could try and do, a, for example, a try parse on another address so something like that. Uh, but in my case here, I'm going to be using the loopback address. So I'm going to be using localhost because I am hosting this server locally on my machine. Um, but this is where you would try and, uh, and input the actual master server, you could say. We have to be, of course, on the same port as the server. So we're connecting to myself in this case because I am the server. And I'm connecting on port 552 because, of course, the server is on port 552 so we want to be listening on the same thing and then after that uh, we are just going to try and connect so let's grab all of this code throw it in the garbage and say connection is going to be equal to driver dot connect they also have one more thing here that I'm going to slide in oh she sorry endpoint um, in the Unity implementation, they have something else here that I'm going to input just in case it does something. But first, before I assign this connection, I put it on default network connection. And just like so, we should be able to connect to the server. And this will be done automatically because we're running this in a initialize. Or if you wish, in a start. Okay, let's collapse this one. Now in the shutdown, we don't need to dispose the connection for the sole purpose that um, it's not a native list here. It's just a single connection. Okay, good enough. Next up, we have the update server. And in the update server, we don't need to clean up the connection because we're not, we're not having a list of connection. We also don't need to accept new connection because we're not, we're not letting anybody else connect to us but the server. However, we need to do something called a check alive. So I'm going to rename, actually I'm going to get rid of these and I'm going to rename one of these functions to check alive in which we're just going to be looking to see if uh, we lost connection to the server. So if my connection is not created, in that case, we do a debug.log and we say something went wrong lost connection to server all right that should be good good for the uh, check live and then finally the message bump in the update server now once more the update message bump is where the magic happens so we keep our stream reader we still need to be able to read a stream of data yes we are the client but um the, the server actually sends us the same data as we send it. So it goes through the same protocol. Um, right here, I'm going to get rid of all the connection. We're not looping through connection because we're not doing peer to peer, right? So there's only one person that is going to send us data. And that is the server, which we keep here. This network connection can only be with the server. So I'll get rid of the for loop. And let's still declare a network event type command. 
and as long as we as we receive uh, messages from this server so here what we did earlier is we got it through the driver dot connection and we could say like this connection but what we're going to do here is instead of doing that we're not going to go through the driver but instead we're going to do it the other way around so let me just restore the code we're going to say connection dot pop event through the driver and then we out the stream if that event that network event type is not equal to empty then we are in what we were earlier so right we're doing pretty much anything anything that we want in here uh, let me copy and paste what I currently have so here I'm parsing a additional type which is the connect so here I know we are connected to the server if I receive that message and then else if it's data then I'm just gonna try and read that data uh, right now I only have a byte uh, but of course this isn't really working thus far um, and then finally if it's a disconnect then client got disconnected from the server and we reset of course the connection that's all we need for this to work so let's give this a try right there ain't much that it's gonna do right now but tell us that hey I'm connected and hey I received a connection but we are going to create what they call a, um, a server client setup. So I am going to be hosting the server and I'm also going to be connecting to myself in the same game session. I'll actually just run this right now. So let me just do a base server, base client. So if we disregard completely this, this error here because it's from my game manager, we accepted a connection as the server and we are now connected to the server as a client. So we've made it actually our connection works <laughs> awesome so we got some data flowing in between not data we got some network events at least flowing in between the two the server and the client and um, it's gonna be enough for today in the next episode we're gonna be looking at sending actual data so sending something that is a little bit more relevant um, to the two of them I'll see you guys in the next one cheers